It's this idea that a, a glowing thing doesn't just emit light at all wavelengths and radiate all sorts of light, but it somehow, for some reason that was not uh, known to him at the time, uh, emits wavelengths, radiation in little packets. And so that, that was a huge leap. And actually, he didn't really, at the time, um, think that it was, he thought it was a calculational device. But what's important is that the fundamental uh, constant of nature that we associate with quantum mechanics, now known as Planck's constant, appears in the calculation. And so very specifically, Planck found he was able to describe the experimental data if he assumed that light is emitted in little packets and the relationship of the energy of the little packet, the photon as we would now call it, to the frequency of the light is E equals HF, where F is the frequency of the light, E is the energy of the packet, and H is this new constant of nature that we now know as Planck's constant. So I would say that's the, the beginning of modern quantum mechanics. How did Einstein's work on the photoelectric effect impact science? So when Planck introduced uh, photons, um, as we would now call them, well, you get the sense that he certainly didn't believe that this was real, that light, the, the electromagnetic field, really uh, came in little packets. And he thought it was something to do with the, perhaps the way...